Hey guys, what's going on? John Corey, classic, what's going on? Boom slang, what's happening, big guy? Hey, you just missed Metal Classic. That was a that was a that was a cool box rip. So tonight we're gonna be opening up a box of 1990 Fleer Canadian. Um be searching for Hall of Famers, looking for the Sosa rookie. Larry Walker, rookie. McGuire, Ripkins, all those guys. So let's get this box ripped open. Hey, Ryan. What's going on? So the major difference between the Canadian version and the American ver and version, um, I'll show you guys after we open up the first pack. I've got Mr. Pudge Fisk right here with the um, U.S. version. So show you the difference here in a second. So with the first pack, we got Doug Baker, Andy Hawkins, Dave Rigetti, Gary Thurman, Tim Burtis, and Walt Terrell. So if we look on the back, you'll see down at the bottom, it says 90 Fleer printed in Canada. The American version, 90 Fleer Corporation, Philadelphia, printed in the U.S. So... Canadian version printed in Canada. U.S. version printed right here. So that is really the only difference between the two cards. Next pack we got Harold Reynolds, Julio Franco, Hall of Famer Lou Whitaker, Felix Fermin, Chet Lemon, and Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. Nick, what's going on? Next pack, we got Lance Parrish, Mike Greenwell, Greg Briley, Rafael Palmero, Brian Downing, Dwight Evans, and Dave Valley. You'll notice, too, I mean, the cards, I mean, they're identical. Yeah, they're they're in English. I was trying to see if there was anything on the back wise that anything in French, but I'm I'm not noticing anything different. Yeah, the packs are slightly different too. Um, obviously, less cards, and then it says right here, manufactured and distributed in Canada, uh, out of Western Ontario. Next pack, we got Stan Javier, like an Oakland A's pack there. There's Billy Ripken, Mark Gubiza, Mike Jackson. There's a Hall of Famer, Nolan Ryan. That's a nice one right there. And Tom Candiotti, the knuckleballer. Yeah, OPG hockey uh, is in both, both languages, both French and English. Next pack, we have BJ Serhoff. There's Jose Seiko. Mr. Original, Kevin Seitz, before he decided to go out and win 27 games in, was it 1990? Yeah, the backs do seem a little bit darker, too. We got Jeff... Kunkel, Joe Carter, 
Dick Schofield, Pete Incavilia, Tracy Jones, or Mike Gallego, and rookie card of Moises Alou and Chuck McElroy. Alou went on to have a, a pretty decent career. McElroy floated around for a little while and then finally picked his way out. What's going on, Hunter? Next pack, Scott Williamson, Gary Gaetti. There's Bo Jackson. Even Bo knows Canadian. Storm Davis, Kent Herbeck, and Hall of Famer Robin Yount. Yeah, I've seen, I've done, I've done a little bit of research on eBay and stuff like that for the Canadian cards, and there's not a whole lot of them out there, um, especially for guys that have been, you know, looking for PSA tens and stuff like that. They're just, they're not out there. There's George Brett, Hall of Famer, and Terry Steinbach. So if you're able to get one of the major rookies, and send it off, get a graded PSA 10, it's probably going to be a very low population. Yeah, centering has been very good on them. Start with Lee Smith, Mike Moore, Phil Bradley, there's Flash Gordon, Mike Schooler, Kevin Brown, Greg Swindle, and Doyle Alexander. Next pack, we got Wally Joyner, Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. Actually, today, Joe, no lie, it snowed for about a half hour, completely filled my driveway, and then within an hour was sunny in about 45. Marty Barrett, and there's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., Centered up very nice. And back's a little off right to, uh, right to left to right, top to bottom, but still second year kid. And Ruben Sierra. Next pack, we got Tom Glavin. That's a nice one. Tom McCarthy. There's the checklist. Sandy Alomar Jr., second year. That would have been a hot one back in 1990. Tommy Green. Matt Marillo. Carmelo Martinez. These are different. Really, only thing is, yeah, the copyright down at the bottom. You'll see the one on the left here says it was printed in Canada. The one on the right says it was printed in the U.S. Let me get them both on the camera for you. Next pack, we got Kirk McCaskill, Tony Fossis, Lance Johnson, Jack Howell, Daryl Hamilton, Bobby Thigpen, held the single season save record for almost, what, 15, 16 years until K-Rod saved 62. Yeah, it's, it's minimal. You got Dan Gladden, there's second year Gary Sheffield. Dave Stewart, Joe Ursulak, the Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor, Saber Hagen, and Rob Murphy. Next pack we got. <laughs> he was legit. Hall of Famer Dave Rigetti, Gary Thurman. Walt Terrell, Al Newman, Don Slott, and Chris Hammond. Well, this pack got, looks like Tim Burtis took a, took a big hit on this one. Pack wrapper definitely got a hold of him. We got Bob Stanley, Rance Mullinkins, Don Slott, John Dobson, there's Hall of Famer Harold Baines and Lloyd Mosley.
Someone's got a thick pin for hundreds of dollars. There's rookie card of Juan Gonzalez. Eric Hetzel. Jack Armstrong. Wes Gardner. And John Cerruti. Next pack, we got Rick Mailer, Eric Plunk. There's Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson. Gene Larkin, Willie Wilson. Dave Henderson. And Randy Bush. That is nice Juan Gonzalez. Next pack, we got Frank, Frank Willis. Bob Guerin, Pete Harnish, Fred Manrique, Mookie Wilson, Scott Scudder, and Kevin Romine. No, they don't smell like that. <laughs> so when are we going to have another Joe John live stream? Roberto Kelly, Chad Kreuter, Todd Stottlemyre. Roberto Kelly. There's a Ben McDonald rookie card. Carlos Quintana. And Kevin Reimer. Next pack we got Craig Cardet. Jesse Barfield. Luis De Los Santos. Dale Mahorek. Jim Dwyer. And Charlie Liebrandt. Next pack we got Matt Winters, Mike Blowers, Dave West, Brian Holman, Shane Raleigh, and Frank White. Nope, that you can't. Your cousin Lenny Dykstra. Kelly Gruber. Paul O'Neill, I agree, it is time to see some Ripkins or Maguires or somebody. Here we got Barry Bonds, it's a nice one, right behind him. Will Clark, Dale Murphy, three Hall of Fame, one Hall of Famer and two guys that I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, and Jose Leand. So that was, I'd have been happy with that pack. That's cool. Scott Geralt, Oda B. McDowell, Bruce Hurst, there's Jose Rio, Glenn Davis, Sid Fernandez, there's the Professor Greg Maddox, and Dave Martinez. The only ties I got to anybody that would be, that was an MLB player, and I don't even know if I'm related to him or not, but funny story was back in 1960 when Maris was traded to the Yankees from the um, Cleveland Indians he was actually traded for a gentleman by the name of Kent Hadley so don't know if I'm ever related to him or anything but I just think it's kind of cool there's Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith Hall of Famer Craig Biggio and Hojo finishes off that pack Yep, we have found all the chase cards. Nope, we haven't found a Jose Uribe yet. We find a Uribe and then we're then we're good. Eckersley. There he is. Cal Ripken Jr. Sent it up very nice. Set that one off to the side for you, Corey. Jeff Montgomery. There's second year Randy Johnson. That one's definitely off cut. Top to right. Or top to left. Top to bottom, right to left. Back's even worse. Jeff Russell. There's Hall of Famer Jack Morris. And Claudel Washington. I never liked Hojo either just because the dude could... Dude could play ball, though. There's no doubt about that. 
Oral Hershiser, Alejandro Pena, Denny Walling, Jim Gott looking all happy, Mike Davis, and John Costello. That is a nice one for Corey. Frank DePino, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray, Steve Bedrosian, Ron Jones, Pedro's brother Ramon, and Alex Cole. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you've gotten to meet him and maybe you get a few of them autographed, that'd be pretty cool. Just being able to say that you're, uh, nope, no subsets yet. Just saying that you're related to him, that's pretty cool. There's another checklist. Tony Phillips. There's a Scott Leyes John Orton rookie card. There's Players of the Decade George Bell. And there's the first of the two McGuire's in this. Mattingly McGuire. That one's going in the PC. Steve Cersei. And another checklist. See on the back there, Kevin Moss, one of the biggest busts. We start with rookie card of Dan Howitt and Tom Drees. There's players of the decade, Ryan Sandberg, Puckett and Bo Jackson, Dynamite Duos, Mark Icorn. there's Fernando Mania. There's Wade Boggs, Mike Greenwell, Boston Igniters, Kevin Ritz, Jody Davis, and there's the Kevin Moss rookie. John, I think you need to start a rookie collection of the biggest busts in Major League Baseball history. There's Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer, Chili Davis. Corey Snyder. There is a Felix Jose. Now, I wonder if that's an error card where his bat's covering up the Oakland A's um, logo there. That's kind of interesting. There's a Bobby Rose Mike Hartley rookie card. And another checklist. Next pack. We got the Delano DeShields. Jason Grimsley rookie card. Mark Lemke. There's a Wayne Edwards Matt Kinzer. Jim Corsi. Um... I don't know if I'd call Van Poppel a bigger bust than Kevin Moss. Dana Williams. There's Players of the Decade, Canseco. There's another Hojo Sandberg, NL East Rivals. And the Derek May rookie card. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan Leaf. Yeah, I'd agree with that one. Actually... <clears throat> If we're go if we're if we're going by sheer talent, and I know he made a comeback in baseball, but I'd have to say Rick Ankiel was probably one of the biggest busts ever. There's Don Mattingly, players of the decades. Mike Scott, Nolan Ryan, Jeff Robinson, Tommy Gregg. There's Dale Murphy, players of the decade. Mark Gubiza, Jeff Russell. Frank Williams, there's a Kelly Mann, Dave Hansen rookie, and Todd Zeal, had a Todd Zeal rookie, that would have been a big one back in 1990. <clears throat> um, we're talking football, we, we got to throw Todd Marinovich in there, Rick Reed, Gary Littleton, Randy Reddy, Kurt Ford. There's Marquise Grissom rookie card. Ray Surge. 
Tony Pena, and Kirk Gibson. Next pack, we got Ron Kittle, Mike Pagliarelio, Terry Leach, Eric Plunk, Johnny, Rick Mailer, Rick Aguilera, Keith Comstock, Jay Tibbs, and Clay Parker. And Tony Mandrich, that's, well, yeah, he was a Packer bust. Next pack, we got Ron Gant, Greg Harris, Mark Knudsen. There's the Pudge Carlton Fisk. So actually, he was the guy we were showing in the beginning. Well, there's like absolutely no difference between the two. Other than the copyright on the bottom. Steve Lyons. There's Dante Bichette's second year card. And Sean Hillegas. Next pack, we've got Matt Kinser, Wayne Edwards rookie, Carlos Martinez, Mike Felder, Steve Rosenberg, another checklist there, Joey Cora, Mike Fetters, and Jeff Petrick. Yeah, Tom Brady didn't that ever amount to much. I hear he's a free agent this at, at the end of the year. Is he going to re-sign with, um, with New England? Jerome Walton, Tom Wallach, Willie McGee, Greg Jeffries, Spike Owen. Plunk is becoming a, a bad omen. Pat Clements and Jeff Manto. But when you're opening junk wax, you know you're going to find Plunk's, Sabos, Swindells. They're just, they're going to be there. Now, if they, sh if they start to show up in new releases, then we know we've got problems. There's Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Tom Bernanski. There's Sean Dunstan, El Presidente. And Calvin Schiraldi. Next pack, we start with Bryn Smith. Pedro Guerrero, Juan Samuel, Dwight Smith, former Rookie of the Year, Bob Walk, and Kevin Bass. I, I've heard the Raiders rumors. I haven't heard anything about the Cowboys, but I figured he's just he'll he'll resign with with New England as well. Lee Stevens, there's rookie card of David Justice. That's a nice one. Don Paul, Willie Frazier, there's Greg Vaughn, rookie, and Greg Walker. That pulls a 1-1 auto sable. Yeah. Next pack, we got Mark Davis, Charlie O'Brien, Ozzy Guillen, Chris Bazio, Dave Gallagher, and Andy Bennis, looking all serious. I think it would have been really interesting to see what Bo could have done if he had not gotten hurt. It actually kind of messed him up for both sports. Tim Cruz, Chris Carpenter, Bob Kipper, Chris Spear, Ken Hill, and Jeff Hamilton. I think Bo would have been a Hall of Famer if he'd have never played football. There's Hall of Famer Gary Carter, rest in peace. Randy Kramer, Jeff Hudson, Mitch Webster, and Eric Anthony. Nope, no justice in this one. Sheffield. We got Bob Kipper again, Mike Harkey, Jim Clancy. Kirk Gibson, there's a Barry Lyons, and Damon Berryhill. Hill. 
four packs left, guys. I appreciate you all hanging out with me on a Tuesday night. Rick Reed, Willie Randolph. There's a Matt Williams. Daryl Evans, Benito Santiago, Tim Leary, and Joe Bover. I'm not for sure if there really is any difference in the wrappers other than the, the back of it where the, the manufacturing um, information is. Manufacturing distributed in Canada under the trademark license with FLIR Corporation. So they had to get permission for from FLIR to be able to produce print, print and produce these and ship them in Canada. I also believe they're actually smaller packs. There's only 10 cards. I believe the U.S. version were 15. Gene Larkin, Greg Brock, Greg Olson. No, there's no cards on the on the bottom of the box either. Kurt Stillwell, B.J. Surhoff. Yeah, Jose Canseco. Two packs left. I don't quite know about that, Corey. There's Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Lloyd Mosby. Bob Melvin. There's another Wong Gone rookie. Eric Hetzel. Another Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, and Randy Milligan. Yeah, the checklists are the same. It's still the same 660 card set. Last pack, guys. Al Newman, Don Slott, Chris Hammond, Bob Stanley, Chris Hammond, Don Slott again. And Brian Holton finishes out that pack. So, guys, that is it. Appreciate you guys all hanging out on a Tuesday night. Thursday, I'm not going to go live with it, but I am going to do a video Thursday night um, with my Maguire collection. I'm going to kind of give you guys a little insight on what I have, everything that I have, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hope you guys will tune in and watch that video. If you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Tuesday night. So until next time, guys, later.